Welcome guys, it's Prismi here. So we're gonna do Diablo Immortal on Chrome, but it doesn't work. Let's see. Let's open it up and see how it runs on Chromebook. Okay, we're opening it up. Many people reporting in that it doesn't work, that's crashing. Okay, let's have a look. It's turning on, it's getting there and it's crashed. So what you need to do to get your Diablo Immortal running, you need to go to settings. So search settings, okay, type in storage, storage management, apps and extensions, go to Diablo Immortal and make sure your storage and your microphone is on. All right, once you've got these on, turn it back on, so in here I turned off the Wi-Fi and I just waited for the program to ask me to do the client update. I turned the Wi-Fi back on and the game is launching. So it will get me to the home screen. What you will need to do is make sure that you signed in with the Battle.net uh, so you can see the servers. Uh, first time when you launch it, it won't show the servers. As you can see, there is no servers. So I basically need to sign in with my Battle.net and then once I do that, then you log in again by relaunching the game, okay? And then you will be able to view the servers. Just showing you here that the game still crashes, so I'm gonna be relaunching it now. All right, let's try it again. Actually, we need to have, to have the Wi-Fi on because it will do the updates. Updates. Starting the game, turning it off. Once the dot comes on, pop, you're turning it back on. The dot is next to the starting game. There's a little dot. You will see at the end, it appears. Once the dot appears, that's when you turn on the Wi-Fi. And there you go, the server is here. All right, so that's when you turn on the Wi-Fi, when the dot appears. Let's go play the game. I hope this video has helped you in some way that you can run it on your device. If not, then unfortunately, I don't know. You have to keep on trying, but this it worked for me and it might work for other Chromebooks. You can play the storyline perfectly fine on the Chromebook. Uh, I think the biggest issue is when it comes to player versus player. I'm currently playing on a PS5 controller connected through Bluetooth. You can do as well Xbox controller. I think because the login screen verifies your device specification and if it thinks that it's gonna affect your user experience, it won't let your device to even open the game. So this is after I download all of the files and that's how the game runs when it's trying to load other players and it's actually freezing the game. Eventually it does work uh, once you load some players. I think if you really want to play the game on your slow device, you should go to less popular areas and farm the monstrous essences, grind the levels, and you should be fine. Once the players load up, you can actually do the world boss, surprisingly, but just bear in mind that your gameplay experience might be a lot different depending on your device. And that's it for this video, enjoy your game!